Hello everybody and welcome back to The Average. My name is Steph. I'm the average artist as I have called myself. So ever since I first started this channel about four, four years ago? I think four years ago. That seems like a long time and I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. But never mind. Moving on. I thought what I'd do today instead of just doing a sketchbook tour because I finally finished this sketchbook after a year of doing it. I would compare it to a sketchbook that I did in 2018, which is four years ago. And I think it would be interesting to see how I've developed, if I've developed at all. I'm quite scared. But yeah, this is my 2018 sketchbook and I've probably done a sketchbook tour on this one before. Somewhere on my channel, really old, don't look at them, probably really cringe. Um, but this was kind of where I was at during that time. I think this was when I began to think about making a comic again. So this was pre-Emily is Burning. And I'm just gonna flick through these pages really quickly. And I want you to bear in mind that when I was making or doing this sketchbook, I was trying to be a full-time artist. So I didn't have a job at that time and um, I didn't really have freelance jobs. I just was doing like YouTube and the occasional project on the side and things like that. So I had a lot of time to just be drawing continuous, continuously. And uh, I think it shows that like when you draw a lot in your time, it can help you develop quite quickly. And I think when I look at this sketchbook, I can see like, I don't know, a lot of passion in it and a lot of freedom and a lot of exploration of styles. I really particularly like these um, hourly comics that I did, Pesto, calm down, that I did that year. Um, I just really like the style and stuff and I did that, I think I did them just like freehand. Pesto, do you mind? Um, and I really like the colours and I think I was taking a lot of inspiration from like other artists that year. I mean I still do that, I still try to look at other artists and think what do I like about their style and how maybe I can incorporate that a little bit into my own work. You can see here that I was trying to continue on doing those kind of comics but I think whatever magic juice I had that day um, really worked out and then I, I don't really like these but I like looking back at this comic or this sketch page diary thing it's really nice to look at it and be like oh yeah i did that that was that was cool and it's quite nice i wish i would do more of this kind of thing where i keep like a diary of um my life basically because it's really a nice thing to look back on so you can see here i'm doing loads of different like sketchy stuff i don't really know what i'm doing it's funny when you look back at sketchbooks because you can remember where you were when you did them and stuff or like the situation you were in. It's kind of like rereading a book that you read and remembering how you felt at that time or how you were then. It's really odd. Here are bits of a comic that I cut up. Well, not a comic, a, um, a sort of comic I wanted to work on and I did loads of like concept bits and writing down and I was really really into this idea but I just let it go for some reason but I found it it was going to be like a fantasy funny comic and uh yeah I quite liked it but I think the idea became too big of a thing for me to work on I just wanted to do some short stories just working on faces uh, I really like these sharks um that I did I used to draw sh like derpy sharks a lot back in the day and I never did that again because I think I saw like other people were doing it and whenever I thought oh it looks like I might be copying or other people are doing this so I shouldn't do this that's what my attitude used to be but now I'm like um everybody has like conflicting ideas or loads of people have uh, the same idea and loads of people work on something that is similar to something else doesn't mean it's not original so I think what I want to do is actually make some stickers out of these sharks anyway because they were my idea, so why can't I just because somebody else did something similar? It's like a bit silly, isn't it? To be like, no, I can't do that now. It's just like, well, it's completely different. It's my style. It's <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, so this was my style. I'm just going to flick through this quickly. You can see here, this is probably like one of the worst pages. Um, 
And I just think, sorry about the train, I've just moved flats and there's a train that goes by every now and then, so you're just gonna have to deal with the train a bit. This is just random stuff. I think maybe I had a little bit of art block. You can see that I'm just trying to explore loads of different styles, trying to find my style, I guess, which I still don't think I have found. This is a really big <laughs> sketchbook, um, so I think maybe I just was doing anything and everything in it. I really like this sketchbook, I got it from Lidl, um, and it's like a really nice <laughs> sketchbook, even though it's super cheap, I remember I bought two of them, and I wish I could find them again because they were like in that middle aisle, you know, in, in um, Lidl, and I don't think I've ever seen them again. See, like, things like this is horrible, but whatever, it's a sketchbook. Sometimes you're going to have really detailed stuff, and sometimes you're going to have really rubbishy stuff, and I don't think it really matters. Like, some people have, like, perfect sketchbooks, and I don't think you need to do that. Like, it's nice to have some nice pages to look back on, but I don't think every single page needs to be, like, a perfect spread, because then I think you just get trapped in that idea that everything you do has to be perfect and then that will be a blocker for you to not be able to draw so you just need to be like okay that didn't work and move on you can see where i started doing the book paint overs because this is room book paint over that i did uh yeah it's so funny like it's weird looking back and as well it's weird looking back because i feel like i did a lot more charactery stuff um, and I don't think like I'm doing that very much anymore so that's a good point to look back and be like maybe I should try and do more character work a little bit um, in in the next sketchbook that I will start because I feel like I've lost that along the way a little bit and it would be nice to pick it up again because I think you know if I want to do comics I would like to have different character uh, designs of different silhouettes rather than something that is very similar because I think that might be an issue with my newer comics is that I'm falling into that trap of doing a similar character design over and over again um, but yeah I think it will be cool to just try and do more character studies I, I, I really like this sketchbook I think it's a really nice piece of work um, this was when Casey did she used to do the prompts and she did a prompt and it was like this and then I did like I got obsessed with the characters that she drew so I made like a comic out of her characters um this was when she asked people to do like things to do with the prompt or you could draw what she did and things like that so that's why I did it otherwise I wouldn't because it's a bit weird to just go and do somebody's <laughs> character and stuff but I really liked it I just had a fun day I remember that day doing it um, but yeah, just being inspired by other artists is really good as well, just thinking what they're doing, how you can do something similar is nice. Um, I don't really know what's going on here, I think I was, whenever I get towards the end of a sketchbook I'm always like, ah, don't really feel it anymore. I don't know if anybody else feels like that, where you're just like, it's not fresh anymore so I'm not really that bothered. This is my old desk setup, which is really nice to look at. and. Makes me a little bit, um, not homesick, but nostalgic for that time. Because I think, yeah, I just, I felt happy, but also not. But like, you know, you, you, you know what I mean when you look back. And I really like drawing workspaces because I think when you look back on them, you can just get a real good memory of the space and how you felt and who you were at that time. And it's not like taking a photo, but similar vibe. Yeah. This, I remember this, so this was when I was thinking about doing a comic and you can see the kind of style is developing for Emily is Burning. I'll just get a comic to show you. So this is Emily is Burning and this is a comic that I made and I did a lot of vlogs on my channel um, about how I made it and stuff so you can probably go watch that if you haven't. Sorry about the train again, if you don't know anything about that but you can see kind of the style is developing here into what it becomes but yeah you can see here that I'm starting to think about what I could do and I think what I did was I started drawing settings of places with houses 
and I really liked the way that alcohol markers worked with like this thin line pen at the time. It then developed into this pencil, this thick black pencil, which I still use basically today. This is my favorite one that I found. It's a polychromos, just a black pencil. They're quite expensive, but I really like, it's very soft and nice to draw with. Um, that's just something I like. So what I do is it can get smudged slightly by the alcohol markers. So I can, I do like that effect sometimes, um, but I try to not let that happen so much. This is kind of an old style now compared to where I'm at now, but I think I'm still proud of it. And I heard that rumor that was like, if you're not uh, looking back on your stuff and thinking, ooh, it's a bit dated now, then you're not really developing, but yeah. These are the houses, drawings that went on to inspire Emily is Burning because I started drawing haunted houses and stuff like that in the next sketchbook. Here's some more sharks, which I do like. I want to make stickers out of them now. And that is the end of that one. So this is um, July, um, no, June um, 2018. So literally like four years ago. So let's see <laughs> if I've developed. I finished this sketchbook. It's taken me a year to do it. Usually I back in the day, I would be doing sketchbooks quite quickly but this time I've had a lot of stuff going on so I had to go back to work full-time in the office after Covid. Uh, I mean I was working full-time but I was working from home so there was a big uh, oops, just got <laughs> pastels all over my hand. There was a big uh, moment of realization that that wasn't how I wanted to work like that's not how I wanted to be so I went through a lot of uh, thinking and I quit my job and became freelance and then I moved to the UK so there's been a lot of stuff going on within this year that has just stopped me from drawing 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 so much so now I think what I'm going to do is um, be on the drawing like make sure that I draw every single day because that's important <laughs> Yeah, it took me a long time to finish this one. Usually I'm quite quicker. This was for a um, book club that we read um, in my book club on Patreon. We don't really do that so much anymore, but we do discuss like sometimes what we're reading. It's been a long time. I changed the reward for it, but I do miss it a lot. But I felt like it was, I became too... It became too reliant on me finishing a book in a month that maybe I'm not too into or anything like that. So it became quite a difficult one. Even though I do love reading, sometimes I go through phases of just not wanting to read. And uh, it was difficult when I knew I had to read a book for the book club, but yeah. This is an ink uh, illustration that I did with my ink pen and also alcohol markers. And I really wanted to do a autobiographical comic about being an army brat, so being a kid with a dad in the army and we went to South Africa when I was quite young and it was like a culture shock and I wanted to just tell the stories of that bit of my life and also like maybe focus on my mum and her strength of going to a completely different country without some of her children were left behind in boarding school and her parents and it must have been a hard thing for her and as a kid I didn't really notice but now I think about it and I think that must be really difficult so I wanted to kind of focus on her but I think it's a very big project and yeah I think I, I would definitely need some time dedicated to that where I'm not working on free freelance contract which I'm currently I'm booked up till September so which is good but I don't want to I want to dedicate a lot of time to it if I did do it and I was thinking that the title could be hold your breath through the tunnel and I like this style it's kind of cool this is my sister me and my brother um, but yeah uh, I was doing a lot of painting back then it's something that I want to get back into a lot more because when we move my stuff's been in boxes for a long time so now I can crack out those paints here's just a picture of me in Africa um, I think Malawi when I was a kid um, my dad did a big campaign to save the rhino and we had loads of these t-shirts and he used to wear them all the time. Um, this was the courtyard of my work place, so the office that I was kind of forced back 
into so my company did this thing where they forced us all back after covid supposedly went away which it didn't because in gibraltar the cases were much lower but i felt really uncomfortable there and i just hated being forced back into the office full time straight off and i wrote here where hopes and dreams dare to die because um obviously i was not in a good place when they did that I remember taking a week off work and I went to the park to just do some plain air drawing, painting rather, and I do really like this. I think if I had spent a bit more time in it, it could be a really solid uh, painting. It's quite nice now. I really like the texture and the paint strokes, uh, brush strokes, sorry, and the energy in it. But yeah, it could be probably more solid if I worked on it a bit longer. Uh, I made a little thank you card for my patrons, don't know what this page is. Probably feeling a little bit down here uh, mentally and trying to persevere through sketching and doing stuff, um, drawing, even though I was just a little bit miserable of having to go back to the office full time, which I know sounds really spoiled, but that was just, you know, how I realised how I work better at home. Anyway, sketchbook. <laughs> This is another ink brush pen because I was thinking I really want to do that comic, but autobiographical comic with ink brush and alcohol markers. So this is me on a rope swing at some point. I was just drawing a lot of old photos. This is an ASOS lady. I thought she was cool. I do this thing where I just go to ASOS and I draw the women there because I feel like they have a lot of different shapes and sizes and different poses, which is quite good because we drawing people in different poses is good. Uh, another ink pen drawing of Pesto and little Mochi. So this is probably when we first got Mochi. She was a little baby. And Pesto always gives me these like crazy poses, which is so great. Uh, this was a sketch I wanted to do a patron print of a tiger uh, and colors. I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was behind this because now I'm looking at it, I'm like, it doesn't really speak to me about anything it just it kind of looks nice the colors um but i'm not like blown away by it or anything uh here are some more pesto and kubo and mochi and i was thinking maybe i can make these stickers but then i was like why would people want stickers on my cats <laughs> so i was like maybe not this was an artist study conrad kowenskinoski kowenskinoski i don't know how to say that i'm very sorry um, but yeah, 1912, it's a portrait of wife with cat, and I really like the style, so I mean, did it in my own style. I was thinking about what I could do, how I could create a different style, because I feel like that's something I'm always exploring, is what style do I want? And I know, like, in the comics, Emily is Burning, I really did like the style, and but I really want to develop it further. I really wanted to work I was getting that itch to work on another comic so I was thinking this time I'm going to do it with ink ink brush pen and alcohol markers so you can see me just trying to explore different shapes colors just really going for it and not really caring of the outcome I made a little book of inspiration I called it for my patrons um, I did just have one line here which I could show you but I don't know where it's gone <laughs> So I made um, a little zine, I guess, and I sent it to my patrons. And it's just of some of the sketchbook stuff in here. And I thought it was kind of cute and something that I would probably like to receive uh, if I was uh, someone's patron. It did take me a while, though, to, to make it. I was like, mm, why have I done this? But I do like that. It's kind of a nice thing to have. And I wonder if anyone still has them, to be honest. So I made them like this, and my printer just decided that everything needs to be more blue than it is. What are you going to do? Uh, here is a drawing of a sticker I made. Um, I don't have one to show you the final sticker, but it came out quite big. I was playing around with textures and paints here. I really like this portrait. I do like this style of just like watercolor. I think I was probably using gouache, but I really like this loose style. I, mean, I think it really tells a story, I don't know, it just adds depth and visual interest. Here I am trying to do that again but with a horizon and failing horribly. 
going back to my ink pen and alcohol markers doing some ballerinas you can see here that i'm a bit like lost on focus of what to do here i was watching squid games and i really did some more watercolory maybe using gouache but with a lot of water um studies of screenshots of the show and i do like these i like these a lot i think i really like this one um it has a lot of energy and feeling behind it a cat which you will see a lot of an empty page because this paper is very thin oh no i just missed a whole page never mind <laughs> i did this for a patron print some witches um brewing something i wanted at the time to just do something involving witches and making it cozy and like a full illustration because I felt like I hadn't done one of those in a while. I did coloured it in and then I did it with the pencil on this side and I did not like the way that was turning out so I went back in with the uh, I guess a brush pen, an ink brush pen and I really like the the way the lines are here, I think it adds much more contrast. It's much better for these really bright colors. I drew my nightstand and all the little things. I really like stuff like this where you can just look at it and be like, oh, that's kind of nice and see people's, uh, where they live and things like that. I love seeing things like that from other people. Here's some sketches. I think this is when I did my Animal Crossing print. I did a video of drawing all the Animal Crossing characters like this or i think all the new animal crossing characters but i think i got it wrong and they're not new <laughs> uh, but the print came out a little bit duller than i wanted but i still quite like it because it's just a nice thing to have like all the little characters i might do something like that again because it was just it took hours absolutely hours but it was a really nice thing to make and i really liked it it's like quite th therapeutic to just sit and sketch out loads of little guys <laughs> and I think I was thinking about making my own Animal Crossing characters of my cats because I thought that would just be a cute thing to do. Here is a setup of my desk with the ink pen again and very loose line. I really like it. I think it just again tells a story about where I was, what I was doing, my situation. This was went for a walk and I wanted to draw like the buildings and the garden and the sky but just for whatever reason stopped drawing it mega art block, block page and i hate these because you can tell when your art block because it's just like a load of just conscious thought but not anything that's like interesting visually you can see here my old kind of i don't know version of these pages i guess <laughs> and you can see that not much has changed to be honest I'm still the same gal from four years ago yeah I think uh, I was feeling pretty down so made a painting this too shall pass quite like this wish this was more centered but there you go sometimes we do stuff and it's not centered definitely here I was trying to do more character work and just make my characters more distinctive so I was drawing, I really like these ladies um, and drawing hands because I really like the way that some people draw hands like really thick and big, if that makes sense. And I want to kind of make that into my style as well, like stylize my hands a little bit more. That's something that by the end of this sketchbook you'll see. I think, yeah, here I was just sketching out characters or trying to sketch out people. This was for a challenge that I did on YouTube about looking at a page of a book of a book that I'd never read before and just interpreting it. Didn't like it so much, but I took like inspiration from that and then I came up with this, which I do like. I really like her. Um, I don't know why. It's not the best drawing slash painting. It's just interesting, I think. So I like that, so I made this one, but I don't like this one so much. I think the lines are too thick and uh, it's not as expressive. I wanted to enter a graphic design competition about designing a book for girl, woman, other. But for whatever reason, I just stopped. This is a drawing of Franard, I think. 
uh, empty page and this was when we were moving so we were packing all our stuff up and I remember making this YouTube video about the shiny about these shiny paints kind of like them um, kind of like the painting overall it's nice but I was very stressed at the time uh, it's a common theme throughout this sketchbook this is when we just moved to the UK and I just drew the house across the street and Mochi then I was just like, I don't know, stressed out, trying to find a place to live, drawing my cats, manifesting, <laughs> manifest that shit, drawing my cats uh, with loose pen. These are the books that I read that year, that at the time. So I was trying to keep up with the book club on Patreon and just drawing out the books that I read. Uh, just trying to sketch, but not really enjoying it. Um, here I'm just more thinking about maybe a cutesy style and trying to, I wanted to do like, you know those stamp washi tapes where you have like each bit of the washi tape is kind of looks like a stamp and you can like tear them off. I wanted to do that but with like little landscapes. Still kind of want to do that but we'll see. Um, also I decided that I really wanted to do a badge or a pin or something like being like I read books. Because I remember when I was a kid, um, in school, you used to get like badges for reading so many books. Um, so like if you read a hundred, you got like the the gold badge or whatever. And I remember being so jealous because I couldn't read very well because I'm dyslexic. So I couldn't do it. And I just was like, wow, those people must be so smart. And I was like so jealous of them. And now I look back on it and I think that's kind of messed up to like reward kids for reading so much when other kids might have issues with that. I don't know. Um, messed up for me, I guess. So I just wanted to do a badge being like, I f read books, whatever. Uh, but yeah, still something I'm thinking about doing. This is my You Deserve to Rest sticker, which I will grab for you. These are all my stickers. Um, I draw them first in the sketchbook sometimes or digitally and I really like this one it came out glittery it just says you deserve to rest because I feel like a lot of the time when we're working from home or or anyone really we just feel like we don't deserve to rest we just need to keep doing stuff we need to keep working and I don't think that's true I think people need rest it's good for our mental health <laughs> you know it's it's a lot some reason I drew my foot <laughs> I remember doing this thinking, ah, oh, this is going to make a really nice picture and print, and then I just hated it. So, you know, what I was saying before, sometimes you just do stuff and you, you hate it. I really wanted to draw Cher from Clueless, and I do kind of like this style, but it wasn't really giving me Clueless vibes. Um, but I do like that style, like kind of like, kind of grungy, I guess, is the expression. Um, here I didn't have many art supplies because I was just in the UK looking for a flat and all my stuff was in boxes. So I was just using limited art supply and yeah, I think that's what was kind of holding me back at this point in the sketchbook. I made this into a print, this little guy, um, just drew it for spring and it was the Patreon reward. This is how it came out. A little bit darker um but that always tends to be the case when you're printing out stuff because you don't have when you're looking at something on the screen it has light behind it and but when it's printed out it doesn't so it looks it can sometimes trick you as to how light is going to come out but also i think i do really like this one so yeah <laughs> so that was the patreon reward that's also on my shop if you guys want to check out my shop i have all this stuff. Went to Hever Castle and it was the childhood home of Anne Boleyn and so I just got a bit obsessed with her um, or like the Tudors again generally. Went to another castle and just drawing like the tulips there and little statue. Drawing another painting from the castle. I tested out all my alcohol markers because some of them were running out so I just wanted to see which ones I needed to replace. This is another ink. Um, you can see that I'm not I'm trying not to let the ink brush pen thing go, even though I clearly enjoy drawing with the black pencil a little bit more. <laughs> Here's some pictures of my cats again. So we have Mochi, Pesto, Gigi, and then Pesto. <laughs> oh, so funny. She cracks me up. There's another drawing with Amberlynn, but just using a blue paint. Don't know why. 
Here is a nice spread. I like this spread a lot. I think I was really coming back into myself with this spread. Um, Self-portrait here of me, pesto plants, just nice colours that I enjoy. And yeah, I think I really like this this page. Um, I think I was really realising, oh yeah, that's the style I like. Um, why have I stopped doing that? That's what I enjoy. So I think it's kind of like a full circle here. I'm like, oh yeah, this is what I enjoy doing. This was a page where I planned out my Starbucks uh, cup paint over, which is a video on my channel. I drew some YouTubers, so Books and Lala and Lee, uh, who's an artist on YouTube, and then also a statue. She's not, she's not an artist on YouTube, she's a statue. <laughs> uh, another painting from another, like, old mansion house that we lived, manor house that we lived, that we visited. Uh, yeah, quite like her. Um, and then I did a landscape piece that I really enjoy. I really like the way that this turned out. It's just fun, and I really like the non -con unconventional colours I used for the hills and stuff. Pretty cool. And this was testing out my homemade paints that I made, which is also a video on my channel. I got a new pen, which is basically... What is this called? I literally got... Okay, I can't remember the name of this pen. Fountain pen. Oh my gosh. I was like, this is, is not... I could not remember the name, uh, but yeah, it's this beautiful, like, pearlescent fountain pen. And I remember just thinking, it's really nice to just draw with it because you can get some really nice, consistent line quality and just, yeah, I was just doodling out cats and I really think it's kind of funny, like, the some of the imagery that I've captured of the cats and I do really like this pen. I was drawing a lot. We did... My, some friends were visiting and we did some draw these uh, Pokemon from memory games and uh, yeah I think these are quite funny I quite like tend to tend to cool there um, yeah it's very nice and I was drawing Brighton because that's where we've moved to it was like drawing the building top and just drawing different things here I'm back on my old because I went back to my pencil, I was like, oh yeah, I like this again, and uh, yeah, I really like how this turned out. This is actually a photo from a photo of me. I uh, went on TikTok and they have like different filters and I use the filter that like stretches your face out and stuff because I thought it would make really interesting ideas for like character design. So this is actually my face but like stretched out in different ways and I really thought that was an interesting idea to try and draw. Oh, um. Here's a paint page. I think I was a little art block. This is when we were moving, so, or just after we've moved in, um, just drawing the plants. And I really, I do like this kind of page of just, I think it's interesting. This is a video on my channel where I tested out these pens, the Liquitex uh, paint pens, which I'm not a huge fan of. They weren't they're like very shiny, um, but they're all right. They're nice. They're okay. Um, much prefer Posca pens or Molotov pens. Uh, here is a character design for a comic that I've been thinking about. Another short little like horror comic, but I'm not sure if it's going to be anything. Um, just starting out ideas and I was like, okay, if I'm going to do a woman in a swimming costume then I should just like look at different women <laughs> and yeah I was doing like different sketches of people I was watching um the white queen I think it's called it's a show about um I can't remember her name one of the old monarchs and I really liked it I did the style with this like thin pen and then the so yeah it's just a a drawing of um her, the star of the show, becoming the queen, and I like that. It's kind of nice. I like watching shows, then pausing it and drawing the screen grab because I think it tells a lot about um, setting and composition and lighting because it's obviously all been thought out carefully by the producers and the cinematographer and everything. So it's interesting to see how you could maybe reflect that in your own art. Uh, here is a page I hate. 
I think I was just trying to draw loads of texture. I think I was covering up like this is a page that would have just been left blank because of drawings on the other sides. And uh, yeah, so it just tried to draw some plants, like the texture, not much else. Drawing some plants in pots. Uh, did like a Kiki's delivery service a draw, but I went freehand with the ink brush pen just to practice with it. And then I used just colored pencils. I don't, um, I don't like it very much but it's not terrible. I think when you copy like a character, well-known character, you have to get them spot on or a completely different style, otherwise it just looks silly. So you can see here that it's trying to be that style and it just doesn't work. Uh, I drew this lady in the fields with stars falling down and I do like that. I like the texture and the pencils and I used, again, realizing that I like to use the black pencil for outlines and I keep forgetting that and every time I don't use that I'm like oh something's wrong with that picture. Drawing some cats and stuff just thinking of like a style for a cat would be quite cute so I was like drawing out different stuff and uh, yeah that's the end of the sketchbook so I'm just gonna say that I finished this in 07 2022. Uh, yeah, so that's my sketchbook. Do you guys think I've developed a bit over the years? I hope I have. Um, yeah, I think I have anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I said this was before my other two comics, but actually it was after. So I think what was happening here was like, once I do a big project, I'm kind of like ugh, tired of art a little bit. So I think that's why I maybe this one isn't as cool as my other sketchbook that I did just before this one but yeah I'm trying to hope to um, keep drawing every day keep trying to be inspired by other people and try hoping that it inspires you guys somehow to keep going and keep drawing and find out what it is that you like about your artwork um, so that's it for the video if you guys wouldn't mind checking out my patreon or my Etsy or anything it really helps the channel out and I'd really appreciate it. But thanks for watching guys. If you got to the end, that's really awesome of you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.